Hey dudes, I'm Hyla, and today on Hyla Cooking, we are making a black forest trifle. This is a dessert that has all of the elegance and alcohol of a black forest cake, but it's a lot quicker to throw together, especially if you happen to think ahead and freeze a chocolate pound cake about a month ago, which I did. out by whipping some cream, some heavy cream in a bowl. And whenever you're whipping cream, you want to have the cream very cold. And if you have room in your freezer, I don't. You want to chill your bowl and your beater too. Anyway, we'll start out on a low speed until it starts to thicken up and then you can increase the speed. That's just so you don't end up like spraying cream all over the place. So we'll do that. So it's thickening up. I'm gonna sprinkle in some powdered sugar and a little vanilla extract and then beat it some more on high until it's nice stiff peaks, voluminous peaks. All right, I think we're there. Definitely wanna stop before you end up with sweet vanilla flavored butter, although that would be really yummy to make cookies with. But so this is what it's, see, it's like, it's like a Dairy Queen blizzard. You can just, you can just dump it upside down and it'll just stay in the bowl. I'm scared, okay. <laughs> anyway, this is what Stiff Peaks look like. All right, before we get started on the layering, actually, I need to talk about the thing that makes this a Black Forest thing. So I've got a cherries here that have been soaking overnight in Kirsch, and Kirsch is a cherry brandy. There's really only one real brand, I think. I mean, you can buy like cherry liqueurs, which are a lot sweeter. Um, this is this is not sweet. This is just booze made out of cherries. So it smells like cherries, but it tastes like liquor. If you are making this for kids, don't give this to kids. There's a lot of booze in it, actually. Um, you can just use some cherry juice instead of this. That's why I say it's a very elegant, grown-up kind of dessert, because it's the kind that gets you a little bit buzzed. So I used to use some pitted frozen cherries because they're not in season right now. And also who wants to pit all those stupid cherries? So I'm gonna try to do this without making a fool and an idiot of myself. I'm gonna drain off the liquor and the cherry juice. It's all mixed together. Okay, good, good. It worked. Not too much of a fool of myself was made. And then I've got my trifle bowl. Usually a, like a trifle dish is a lot deeper than this. I'm going to probably end up making two this size. But um, any like straight sided dish will work just because you want to see some of the layers in there and it's a little bit pretty. So I'm going to cover the bottom of this with cubes of my chocolate pound cake. I made this recipe, um, I don't know, a few weeks back. So you can get that. You can make your own. You can buy one. You can buy a chocolate sponge cake at some bakeries, just like a plain cake. If it's a little bit stale, all the better, because then that's more room for it to soak up booze. And then we're gonna drizzle a little bit of this boozy cherry juice. Put a few cherries down, of course. And then a nice thick layer of whipped cream. And try to kind of seal everything around the edges. And then we'll just repeat more chocolate, liquor, cherries, whipped cream until your dish is full and you end with whipped cream and then I'll show you how to decorate it with chocolate shavings. Okay, once you've got your whole, your whole top covered there with some whipped cream, I've got a dark chocolate bar armed with nothing but a regular vegetable peeler. I'm gonna to try to make some pretty looking chocolate shavings. And I think that the little chocolate shavings are partly why it's called Black Forest Cake. I mean, I guess like the Black Forest in Germany is known for having cherry trees in it. But to me, this always has looked like, like the bark of a tree. So I like to think that that's where it comes from. 
And you can make this ahead of time. It actually, trifles are great that way. You can make them like a day in advance and they just get better. But I would say if you're gonna do that, decorate it right before you serve it. Okay. I think that looks pretty good. So then obviously if this was cherry season, you would want to decorate the top with some fresh cherries. But since it is not, I bought some ridiculously expensive of uh, these Luxardo maraschino cherries. They are more like a candied cherry than a, the regular like bright red maraschino cherries. They don't have any food coloring in them, um, but they do have a much nicer cherry flavor, a real cherry flavor. I'll just plop a couple of these around. So if you like this recipe, you might also like my classic raspberry trifle recipe. I'll link to that. Did that last year for Christmas. I love trifles for Christmas because it reminds me of my grandma because that's like, she didn't really cook very much, but she loved to eat. So trifle was something she could manage. This recipe and all my recipes are always available on hylacooking.com along with extra tips and, uh, I don't know, cool stuff, pictures of tits. Just kidding. It's not a porn site. Uh, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and let's give this Black Forest trifle a taste. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna eat this cherry. Oh boy. gonna have to eat the whole thing I guess since I got my germs all in it already mmm 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 I love boozy cake I love whipped cream I love cherries I love chocolate, and most of all, I love you. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.